All right, what's up, guys? This is Vector, and today I'm going to repair Curie's uh, gamepad. I don't know if you've been around, if you know it or not. Curie's right trigger, that's the uh, ZR tr uh, button, it sticks. Sometimes it locks, and you can't fire, like, Inzukas or Rainmakers. It just, it's just not working. It's just not working at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and disassemble this thing. Um, what you're going to need for this is a few tools. Um, let's see if I can find them. Too big. No, it's a pen. All right, here we go. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the battery out of here. And for that, we're going to use uh, just a, a four-star screwdriver. Get us at any uh, any place, any hardware store. And the nifty thing about these screws is that they stay with the lid, so they don't screw all the way off. Once you undo it, it's a simple just take it off. The battery is connected via this four-color cable. See right there. Just simply put your finger inside there and pull down, and the battery just pops off. Easy peasy. Next thing you can do is a little more time consuming. Uh, we're gonna peel off all these little tabs. You can't see it in the um, in this video, but there's little tabs that cover screws screws in there. Um, best thing to do is just use your fingernail. And just literally push it off. The glue is not really that tacky, so it should peel off fairly easy. Alright, next step. You're gonna need to get the screws off these little holes. For that, you're gonna use a special screw. It's called a tri-wing. You can get it anywhere online. I'll post links to all the parts that I used. This one's a three-star. You can't see it from the cam, and I don't think I can focus in on there better than that. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get these screws off. These ones do come all the way off. <laughs> your screws together all right next step we're gonna lift this off and try to keep everything together don't just rip it off because there's wires that connect the back to the front just slowly lift it up and tilt it upwards okay you can already see buttons are falling out uh, what I'm gonna do right now you can't see from that angle maybe I'm gonna peel, not peel, but I'm gonna pull this cable out. So if I can show you a little bit closer. I'm gonna try to take that cable out so I don't have to have it in my way anymore. Actually, that one there is not, it's kind of tricky to get that one out. But we're gonna try anyway. Um, probably best not to mess with that. I'm just going to do this instead. Okay, now I'm going to try to show you what's been broken on here. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Did she actually mash both? Okay. So I'll try to show you where this thing got broken.
piece of this thing broke off on the edge over here. It's supposed to stick out a little bit longer and a piece over here broke off. So that's what we're going to try to replace right now. And I don't think it's going to be as easy as it seems here. Hmm. All right, well, first step, let's get the right parts. So here's our replacement components. One for the right, one for the left. Okay, so it doesn't look too hard. Um, we're gonna need another uh, screwdriver, four star. Very thin, very small one. Another screwdriver, very small, very small. I don't even know if it shows up on camera. And we're going to try to peel off some of these things here. Actually, my other one should have fit here too, but this one will be fine. Okay. Two more screws in here. And um, there's one more over here. One more. There is one more. It's kind of hiding behind this button over here. And that one there will stay with the component. Get this little trap wire out of here. This is a little tricky. I'm not sure how to get that thing off without breaking it. I believe it's just a snap on, snap off, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's try with a, uh, a light tug. No, it doesn't want to come out with a light tug. Okay, you know what? I need to get this thing off because this is just going to cause me problems. I'm going to try to wedge it off with the screwdriver. All right. So that comes off put that aside now I can get in close and try to figure out what to do with this piece here so looking at this one over here it looks like it just literally slides in I don't see, I don't see it really uh, causing a whole lot of fuss to get out here we go all right See, I might have just fractured it unless it's a hinge. All right, so that piece is done. Put this one in its place. I'm actually going to have to put this back there. Nice. All right, it is a hinge. Actually, a lot more simple than I was expecting. Put this in there, wedge that back in that spot here. Just fiddle with these wires, put them back where you found them. Okay, going back to the screws.
going to screw over here. Now I'm going to try to get the screw out of here. There we go. Another screw. Last screw. All right. Cool. Making good time here. Okay, next thing. Because, okay, let me see if I can actually highlight where she broke this thing. Let's see if we can get this on cam. Make sure it's going to focus. Here we go. Okay. So I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is the good component. This is the bad one. She broke a tab right here that actually holds the uh, the trigger in place, like a hinge. Now I'm gonna get the replacement buttons. Um, I don't know how to open this thing. There we go, okay. That's the right one? That's the wrong one, this side. Try to keep the new pieces together in case she breaks something else. All right. Now I'll show you the before and after again. Both are ZRs. You can see right away which one's broken. It's missing a piece, isn't it? There we go. This little piece here that wraps around that spot. to go inside it's supposed to snap inside there so let's go ahead replace the buttons i can see there's some little wear and tear on this side as well but it's going to hold together for a little while longer it's just really dirty all right let's put this in here i don't want to break it but maybe i can slide it in yeah sliding seems to go well I don't want to put too much pressure, but how do I put it all the way in? There we go. There we go. Nope. Didn't hold. Right again. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's keep our damaged components together. Put those aside. Make sure everything snapped in place. Uh, when you open it up, you might want to. These things might fall off. If they do, they don't snap in place. They just sit there. So put it back in there, just like that. Did you break that one too? No, couldn't be. No, okay. It's just it's just a little bit dirty. All right. Those work fine. Perfect. Let's get the uh, the back housing on. Don't forget to reconnect the wire. Pretty sure it only snaps in one way, so if it doesn't go in easily the first time, stop and retry. Okay, snapped in easy. Now gently put this back together. Okay, that's that. Let's put these things back together. Actually, that's not the right side. That's too big. Let's be good with this one here. Oh no. Make sure you use the right screwdriver. Try wing. Push it in. Just push it. 
That's it. This battery cover. Let's get a nice size screwdriver here. Here we go. Now the finishing touches, the squares. All right, next step, I'm going to test it out, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and we're going to try this new trigger out. So far, so good. All right, let's uh, go ahead and skip it. I'm going to go into a turf battle and see if it works. It, remember, it was this trigger here that one had the, that had the issue. Actually, no, it was this one here on the right side, wasn't it? Oh, man, I hope I replaced the right one. Only kidding, I'm sure it was the right side. All right, so let's go ahead and go into a lobby. Uh, let's check a different weapon. Actually, yeah, I can use a forge. Give it a try. It already feels much, much better. Right away, you can tell a difference. I'm curious if the is a little bit than I like, but overall, it feels pretty good. out for me that time. Don't blame the controller. Ah. Didn't quite make that jump. that one. Oh, 
I hear Kiri. She's gonna be pretty happy about this. Let's see if we can win a match with her too. Oh, that ink strike at the end might have just taken them over the edge. Oh, we lost. Well, that was fun. Uh, I hope you learned something. Um, I'll be posting the links for all the uh, parts that I used uh, in the description. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. See you guys.